Так, ну вот еще мы тут нашли чуть-чуть. Просто загляни, брат. О, рэп, рэп. Срезай, рэп. Вот чемодан. Внутри нет? Он одноразы. Всякая фигня. Advanced Russian bombs capable of striking any Kharkiv corner, regional governor. The Russian army attacked Kharkiv with the latest unified multi-purpose D-30 gliding bombs, the newly deployed UMPB D-30SN bomb by Russia represents a significant threat to Kharkiv, capable of targeting any area within the city, the regional governor Ole Sinehubov said in a comment to public broadcaster Suspilne. Senehubov detailed the risks posed by this advanced weaponry. This bomb can reach any part of Kharkiv, any district. Sinehubov stated, emphasizing the wide-reaching impact of the weapon. Even communities in Kharkiv Oblast, depending on their proximity to the border, are at risk. The Russian military executed two airstrikes on Kharkiv's Shevchenko district using these bombs from SU-class aircraft, Sinehubov said. The UMPB D-30SN, an air-to-surface missile, has been adapted for precision guidance and ground attacks. The attacks were not simultaneous, Sinehubov explained. There was a notable interval between them with varied flight paths, suggesting these might have been test strikes aimed at locating our air defense systems. He detailed that the bombs were launched from different directions and originated from Belgorod Oblast in Russia, traveling distances of 72 to 74 kilometers to reach Kharkiv. Sinehubov noted a worrying trend in the evolution of Russian offensive capabilities, highlighting advancements in the range and design of these guided bombs, now capable of hitting targets up to 90 kilometers away. It appears to be a trial, potentially indicating future use, he said. Perhaps they were looking for our air defense systems to detect them. The munitions entered Kharkiv from different directions, one from the north and the other through Bohodukiv, and then lower from the western part of the city. In response to these threats, Sinehubov called for urgent measures to safeguard Kharkiv's population, including the construction of shelters, deployment of mobile shelters, and the development of an electronic warfare system to counter the aerial threats. Italy reveals connection between terrorist attack in Crocus, Putin's plans for world war. Head of the Russian Federation Putin does not need a world war, so all his talks that the Russian Federation will shoot down F-16s provided to Ukraine, even at NATO's airbases in Europe, are propaganda. This opinion was expressed by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Deputy Prime Minister of Italy, Antonio Tajani. This is akin to propaganda. Russia made a bad impression with the attack on the Crocus City Hall in the Moscow region. I thought it was strange that the special services did not stop it, Tajani said. He also said Putin was trying to divert attention. I don't think Putin wants a world war also because he won't win it, he added. But Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said 
that the US and the EU have been obsessive in insisting on Ukraine's innocence in the Crocus City Hall terrorist attack to the point that such behavior is suspicious. The West is actively trying to convince everyone that this is the work of ISIS and there is no longer any need to suspect anyone, especially Ukraine, Lavrov told Izvestia. They keep insisting that Kiev is not to blame to the point where it's becoming obsessive. Lavrov pointed out that four suspected gunmen were attempting to flee to Ukraine when they were caught by Russian security forces. We have repeatedly said that we do not make any final conclusions until the investigation is completed. The investigation is still working on the facts, new circumstances are being revealed, but we simply do not have the right to exclude obvious possibilities, the foreign minister stated. Meanwhile, the West is suspiciously active in trying to persuade everyone that Ukraine had nothing to do with the attack, Lavrov said.